The flag is not designed to divide us, it's designed to unite us. Uh, and so no matter what side you on, you know, you can't, you can't politicize oppression, you know. People that are oppressed, uh, you know, the, the word teaches us and the Bible teaches us to go out and love thy neighbor and actually serve the oppressed. Uh, it said nothing about, you know, finding symbolisms and ideals uh, to divide us. And I'll say this as well. The Bible also says in, in Exodus 20 and 2 uh, that we're not supposed to bow down to anything other than God. And so um, I don't like when people are trying to force folks. I know for me spiritually, I'm not going to kneel and kneel down unless I'm praying. I'm kneeling down and humbling myself before the Father in heaven. So we had the message. We played it right at the beginning of uh, this block. And the president didn't like Goodell's message. You can see it here. Here's the tweet. Could it even be remotely possible that in Roger Goodell's rather interesting statement of peace and reconciliation, he was intimating that it would now be okay for the players to kneel or not stand for the national anthem, thereby disrespecting our country and our flag. The president has the same problem I think a lot of people have with this, is, is that why is this the forum? Why is it that you choose during the national anthem, which is something so solemn in this country, uh, to do this? There's, there's so many different ways that you could do something like this, like fighting uh, an injustice. Yeah, there is, you know, but I'm never going to condemn a peaceful protest, even if I disagree with it. Yeah. Uh, and so I will say when you start to, to fight in, in that regard, you're taking your eye off the enemy. Uh, and I think that's what's starting to happen in the country. I think, you know, during the National Football League, hopefully if we see, if we don't see this, that'll be a good thing. But if we do start to see this political divide again, it's going to really take our eyes off the issues. And we're not going to be able to address, you know, the fact that we have such a high percentage of black men not graduating from high school and we have broken family units uh, in the black community right. that are really at the root and the core of a lot of our issues. So there's things that we can actually do as a nation together united uh, that if we continue to fight over you know, who's kneeling or who's standing for the flag, we're just going to take our eye uh, off the true enemy.